Alright, now we can do this in relative peace. <laughs> uh, little brother, grab your Pokemon cards, huh? That's it. Taking gotta catch them all a little... little too literally. The enduring popularity of that continues to amuse me. It's one of those things I never got into, but almost everybody I know did at some point. Oh yeah, grab everything in here that we can. I think that actually is everything. Oh, hey, one more. Yes! Alright, let's turn the last couple in. <laughs> Sugar, not the cleanest. Doesn't matter. We're making a bomb, not a cup of tea. All right, we've got everything. Give me some time. I'll let you know when I'm done. First you get the sugar. Then you get the power. Then you get the explosives. It was Magic the Gathering, so I dodged Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon card fans. That's fair, you know? That's the thing. If you're not into one... Big, all-consuming hobby, you usually got into another along similar avenues. Basically, everybody I, everybody I knew was into some form of card game. Now, what have you got? Someone must have turned the antenna on. We're picking up signals from all over town. One of them is from Hansen's group. Hansen used to run security at the tower, but he thought the building was too vulnerable. He wanted to move everyone to a new location. Of course, Brecken wouldn't have it. So him and some others up and left. We never heard from them after that, until today. You can hear for yourself. All right. Thank you, Seren. I'm with Hansen's group. There has been an accident, and we need help. I'm concerned who might be listening, so I can't be specific. Please, come quickly. It just repeats. Does Brecken know about this? He said until we actually talk to someone, he doesn't want to risk sending a runner out there. All right, maybe I'll go out and have a look. I'd appreciate it. Hansen ran a tight ship. I can't understand how things could have gone wrong with him in charge. Alright, well. As long as we're running errands for people. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like if anything, magic is more popular now than it was when I was in... Uh... Well, you know, school in general, but... I remember it being real big when I was in high school in particular. Alongside Pokemon, really. Yeah, I feel like it's only just gotten even more popular over time. Okay, uh, right. So, actually, this takes us this way, which puts us right over here. I think that works. Oh, okay. Jafar, it's Crane. I'm at the building. Listen, the entire outer structure is electrified. Oh, this is new. He was the first to rig the electric traps. He's got the real neck. Come on up! Yeah, come join me! I like the I like. Ooh, damn. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna shut it off. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, try it again! You might say I'm a straight shooter. Ha <laughs> ha! You might say I'm shooting for the moon. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Uh, so we need to get in there, and we need to not get cornered in there. Come on. You know, as annoying as the virals are, the more I do fight them, the more I notice interesting little quirks in their behavior and the way they coordinate with other enemies. Because they very obviously are trying to flank you, and they're very aware of your line of sight, what you're paying attention to. If there's more than one, they will try to distract you while their buddy gets to you. It's a really clever AI. 
And it's one of those things where you really do want to pay attention to how they behave. Because... Otherwise, they will continuously surprise you. Okay, getting a little sidetracked here. Actually, wait, hang on a second. See if I can do that thing again. Okay, so hooking them directly doesn't damage them, but if I do this, that just puts me right in the middle of them. Fantastic. Because I know when I was on the bridge, there was that one where... Uh, hang on a second. I see an opportunity. But yeah, on the bridge, I remember hookshotting something and busting a zombie head while running. Or while in flight. And I'm determined to try and do that again. There we go. So, because I'm not one to leave well enough alone with a big pile of goodies to collect. Call me Lincoln Park, because I'm giving you wounds that won't heal! Ha-ha! <laughs> oh god, even I cringe a little from that. Couldn't resist, what can I say? I'm a weak, weak little man. Hey, I saw that gauze. Okay, now, time to move on. I'm not here to do my best, Kirby. I'm here to do my worst. Okay, so there are two generators I gotta shut off. <laughs> then my job is done. No, they're just hungry. Of course, they're having a meal right in front of it. Jafar, I think I found Hanson. Looks like he took a fall, and then the fighters finished him off. He's been dead for a while. What about the others? I'll let you know when I find something. Come on up! Alright, let's try this again. Okay, if you're going to be a problem about this, come on up. Let's finish this. I want to get some good footage of your demise. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, can I make any more Molotovs? Seems like those are the only things that keep them off my ass. It's a city in Turkey, Kirby. Yeah, I see that. The problem is they're right by me. Like, they're right outside, and I feel like that would just eventually cause more problems than it would solve. Not a bad idea, but just I feel like that in particular would probably cause problems. I mean, granted, everything I do causes problems, but still. Off. There's got to be a way up. There is a way up. It's called the grappling. Fuck. <laughs> Chaos, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's nothing if not fair. <sighs> What's this? <laughs> Thank you, Eyes. Okay, now, I'm... Um, now, you see that icon on the top, right? It looks like a drop, but I thought those stopped because of the plot. I'm gonna take a quick look at this. Ow. Okay, I see the container. Okay, do I have to shut the water off? Or the electricity off? Presumably. Yeah, these guys went for it and they're dead. <laughs> uh, thank you, Zero. Yeah, that is... That is a highlight and a low light all in one. <laughs> Ooh, Highlander hatchet, nice. Yeah, there are, there are times in your life and when playing video games where you know you screwed up and you haven't just enough time to appreciate that right when the consequences hit. Uh, which way? Right, this way. But it's alright, we're past that. We're moving on. I'm going to put aside my previous record of failure and incompetence and show you all why I am the best at video games. Doesn't bode well. Well, I guess this wasn't going to be a happy ending for these people, otherwise, they'd be sending a live message. Note 24. You know what? I'm actually going to read that. 
Uh, here we go. Seven. Here we go. Okay, finally everything is in place. It's a beautiful day. We're all lounging on the rooftop. A few biters are roaming around, but once I know they, for once I know they can't truly can't reach us. All the doors are secured, and I have the only key. There won't be any oops, my bad around here. I've never locked myself out of a room, never lost a key, or forgotten a lock combination. I'm not perfect, but I don't screw up on matters of security, because I, I use procedures and checklists, and I stick to them no matter what. The people who joined me here have put a, a lot of trust in me. Some were nervous about not having copies of the building keys, but I told them anyone who can unlock these doors can get you killed, and since they also can get me killed, I'm the only one who gets keys. You either trust me, or you go back to the tower. Nobody left. I'm pretty damn pleased with what I've accomplished here. My finest achievement is the electrified fencing of a case the building in. Even the most determined volatile would be pan-roasted in a matter of seconds trying to scale it. The fencing is powered by a customized generator that runs off the building's gas line, so it can't run out of fuel. For safety reasons, I've allowed the generator to run down its gasoline supply. Now I'll just head down there and switch it over to natural gas, and then it will run forever. I predict tonight will be the best night's sleep I've had in months. By God, I've earned it. Uh-huh. Obviously, things did not go as planned. Story of this game, really. I mean, seriously though, you had a fair few survivors up here. It's not like it wasn't a decently well-protected setup. Uh, right. What am I investigating for in particular? Is there a thingy I'm looking for that will flag this quest as done? Maybe it's on them. Pardon me, folks. Just going to root through your belongings. Anybody that objects, feel free to say so. All right. Uh, note 25. What do you got? What a bunch of fools we were. Hansen and all his talk about security and ironclad rules and his rigorous procedures and checklists. Of course, the system was so flawless it had to fail. Back at the tower, it seemed to make sense. Hansen was always carrying on that too many people had keys, and the en entries to the building were never locked anyway so people could get in. What kind of security is that, he'd say. If people can get in, the biters can get in. Brecken's gonna get you all killed. So he joined Hansen, and trusted him with everything, and trusted him with everything. It was okay for the first week. We helped him encase the building with electrified fencing. Great idea, Hansen. Then he set up this customized generator, which he somehow got to run off the natural gas lines so it would never shut off. We told him he was a genius. Well, you can't say it didn't work. It's been 14 days and it's still running smoothly. 14 days since we had any... Oh, had any food or water. Well, there you go. They cut themselves off. 14 days since we watched that knucklehead fall off the scaffold and hit the ground like a bag of wet cement. He screamed when he hit the ground. I think he broke his back and that brought the biters in. The others were horrified and felt sorry for him. Not me. The instant I saw that jerk plunging to the ground, I knew he'd killed us all. Hansen said he kept cyanide around because he always thought someone else's negligence would let the infected get in. That was his worst fear. Anyway, there should be enough for all of us. Except for Sarah, if we burned all our passports and driver's licenses and anything with our names on it. We don't, we don't want any record of who we were and how stupidly we died. We know this. The man who got us all killed was named Hansen. Roy Hansen. He was a royal idiot. Well, okay. That answers that then. Oh, hey. You'd think it would come with an off switch, but I think the implication is that only Hansen knew how to turn it off. Sorry for the mess. Set up. Alright, well. Jafar, I found the rest of his group. They're all dead. Mystery solved, I guess. Why? What the hell happened? 
Looks like Hansen yeah, about on the that. Yeah, the zip line led fell. right off the roof. The rest of his people got stranded on the roof with no way down. Looks like they eventually ran out of supplies and decided to, to cash out. They, they couldn't get into the building. Well, it seems Hansen had the only key. Guess he didn't trust anyone else. Okay, so the controls were in the building, and Hansen had the key on him. Yeah, it's too bad they trusted him. Thanks for going out there, Crane. Jafar out. Uh, that's a good question. I don't think the zip line would be. Possibly, but I, I'm not sure. How'd you get up here? I guess you could say I uh, got the drop on her. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, uh, right. Let us get over to that there parking garage. We'll get the blueprint. Anyway. Moral of the story is, when building your zombie safe house, always be mindful of single points of failure. Trust in the buddy system. The buddy system will get you through it. Hey, I saw that. Yoink. <laughs> It is damn satisfying when you do behead one of these guys, especially, especially the virals. Yep. A citizen is in distress. Actually, they look like they got this in hand. Never mind. Uh. Oh shit, no, I said I remember this one. Could I do like this? Okay, can I get my reward from you guys? Or are you just gonna fight to the bitter end? I swear to God, that guy tried to grapple me like five or six times. Okay, good. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to leave. You guys have fun, keep your reward, whatever. I'm not going to repair this. Okay. Let's get up on this building here. All right. Blueprints, where you be, my friend? That is exactly what I'm here to do. I believe I'm in the right location. I heard that something got up on the roof with me. Ow. Damn it. You're not supposed to dodge, that's cheating. That's what humans do. You're not human anymore. I mean, granted, I won't be either much longer at this rate. I'm not actually sure if they gave me any antizen. It's not like we've been... Hey, I think this is it. What? No. No, come on. Game, you're not going to do me like that, are you?
Oh, okay, I gotta keep kicking it. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna look this up. I wanna make sure I'm doing doing the right thing and not wasting my time. Okay, <laughs> oh, look at this. You need to kick the box or press the action button 76 times to make the box open. Okay. Alright, so we are doing the right thing. Got it. So it's like the Excalibur. You basically do this one thing for like a minute. Shit. Okay. Alright. I was gonna say, I... Because <laughs> if the game was starting to jank out on me, I would be irritated, but also that would be kind of okay, hilarious. There we done. go. Hey! Fuck. Yeah, good question. Wonder if there's some significance to the number. Anyway, Korak Machete Blueprint Get. Can we make that? Uh, 10 and 12 weapons, DLC weapons. Korak Machete, where you at? Throwing weapons, developer weapons. Here we go. Hey! Alcohol and metal parts. Fuck yeah! Oh! Oh! Uh, where to go? Not gonna hatch it. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, so that's a great weapon. Oh my God! Look at that fucking damage. Oh! Oh! Well, we're putting this right up. Uh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do: dismantle you. Okay, we're gonna... Let's see, can we put a mod on this thing? Exorcist, Highlander Hatchet. Highlander Hatchet, Ben Franklin's Key. I don't think we can. Alright, we're just gonna mod this thing. Give me them king mods. Here we go. Yes. 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 Oh, look at that. <laughs> Best balance since 2011. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, well, now I think we are definitely ready for this quarantine zone here. So, right. Let's get this in. This looks fun. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, like the, Ex like the Excalibur. This is going to be, like, one-shotting some people. Former people. Uh, can I safely grapple my way down? <laughs> uh, good question. Let's take a look. Uh, durability 49-49. So, it is... Uh, it is above average durability, but not infinite. Clearly, yeah. There's definitely more... more, uh, special weapons to this game than I am aware of. But yeah, good tip. Thank you. I hear that. Darth Vader sneaking up on me. Oh no, it's just a regular zombie. Alright. So not one-shotting, but definitely going to make our life easier. Alright. Now, we've been through this before. We're going to try and get through this and see if we can check this bounty off. Oh, it can't be repaired. Oh, shit. Okay, good catch. I did not catch that. Okay, one blueprint. That's an Easter egg about Destiny 2. Oh, interesting. Okay, stealthily complete quarantine zone objective. Do not alert patrolling volatiles. Right. Well, we're going to need some distractions in order to accomplish that. Uh... Do -do -do. <laughs> Easy does it. Better call, right? Some of these are alarmed. <laughs> Yo, 
Yeah, that actually I, I had uh, last episode. Very handy, that. The other one I believe is over here. The nice thing about these is the location doesn't change, so once you do recognize them, or once you do have them memorized, it's just a matter of avoiding the patrolling balls. Alright, so I know the one over here has an alarm attached to it. But the volatiles aren't here yet. Shit, no, there's one right there. Damn it! We gotta be real careful about this. Alright, now they're coming this way. This isn't really for plot purposes, I just really like to check this off, because that quest has kind of been sitting there for a while now. God damn it! Uh, I thought I was too- I thought I was low enough, I didn't s Oh, come on! Well, the thing is, they're not really just zombies, is the thing. They are super fast, and they look around a lot, and sometimes they move in predictable patterns out in the world, but in a confined space, they don't necessarily... Well, here's the thing. The UV light will stun them, but the problem is I'm trying to do the bounty. You see where it says, don't do not alert the patrolling vols? So that means I have to do the quest over again. And you know what? That's enough tries for tonight. Let's move on and do something else. Yeah, that is separate from... delivering the, uh... That, that's separate from getting the boxes. I've actually run that specific quarantine zone before. <sighs> oh well. I'll probably do that off-camera, just because I really want that off the list for reasons of that are purely idiosyncratic. Let's put it that way. Anyway, uh, right. Do we have anything we can do real quick? Oh, that's right. Kurt's done with the bombs. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll check in with him, get the upgraded dynamite, and then we'll call it there. And head back to the tower, and then we'll call it there. Oof. Damn it. <laughs> Grappling hook, I love you, but you keep doing that, and... I could blame myself for it, but I'm not going to. Wee. Actually, yeah, yeah. We'll Yeah, we will talk to Kirk, get our upgraded dynamite. We'll talk to those people there cuz I think the path out of here actually goes through a tunnel. And the uh, quest just unlocks it. We <laughs> it's a grappling fuck, exactly. You got a bomb for me? I've got the prototype. It's on the table, ready to be tested. Oh, I like the There's way you think. There's a dedicated tunnel nearby. It's chock full of volatiles during the day. But at night, it should be pretty clear. You won't find a better place to test a bomb. 
Okay, I'll try the tunnel and let you know how it went. One more thing. Remember about the firecrackers. The bomb will go off as soon as they're oh, done Oh, I see so what you're doing here. You so it's not just away. a bomb, it's a bomb that actually draws them to them. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. I think this game technically avoids the... Avoids the Z word in the parlance of Shaun of the Dead. I think they just refer to as infected. But yes. All right. Uh, let's see. But yeah, the the big problem with the volatiles is they don't behave predictably. They're quite a bit more clever than your average Zeke. All right. Oh, of course it's a 10 second timer. Hey, Kurt? I'm here, Clay. It's no good, it's not working. Not working? Huh. That's unexpected. What? All right, a little on the fly surgery should do the trick. What do you mean, surgery? First, open the casing by making an incision just below the negative terminal post. Peel back the casing along the incision line to reveal the trigger wiring harness. Okay, Kurt, if this blows up now, in my face, I'm gonna somehow survive it and get you when I respawn. And the three red ones. I'm betting it's the green wire. I was drinking when I did them, which I now realize was perhaps irresponsible of me. <laughs> okay, fair play, I would be too. Oh, that did it. Oh boy! God, blew up the nest and the barricade. All right, the tunnel's now passable. Hey, I told you, my friend. If I build it, it's going to explode. Come see me, and I'll give you the blueprint. Yeah, if I live through this, I will do exactly that. <laughs> Not exactly healthy enough to take that fall. Ooh. Oh, that was an adventure. This is for you. I've also modified the case a bit. Cans instead of batteries. Smaller bang, but cans are easier to find and to carry. All right. Thanks, Kurt. All right. That was fun. Thank you, sir. Can I actually make it, any of them? Alright. I must have passed it by. Kurt's bombs. Oh, it's probably over in the... Toxic grenades. Oh, here we go, right at the end. I see it. Oh, damn it. Well, we can fix that. Sorry, sorry, Highlander Hatchet, there can be only one. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll check the... I'll check this real quick. On my way back to the tower. Cause yeah, I usually call it a night after three hours. There. Ow.
Hey, how's it going? What do you want? I'm looking for the saviors. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm one of Brecken's men from the tower. I don't care where you're from. Get your ass out of here or I'll stop being so fucking polite. Listen, I know you're smuggling people out of the slums. There's a girl who came through. Jade? I think you better get the hell out of here. No, just listen. I cut Rise up and now his whole goddamn gang is after me. I could use some cooperation here. You? You're the one who chopped Rice's hand off? Yeah, I'm a real you know handyman. Zero. <laughs> What's your name? Crane. Well, Crane, you're in for some heartbreak if you think going to Sector Zero will get you off Rice's shit list, but wait here. All right. I got a guy here who claims he's the one who took Rice's hand off. Crane. Yeah, that's what he said. Really? Are you sure? Huh. Okay. Right. Finally, my reputation well, doesn't quite precede me in a good way, but near enough. Okay. We'll get you to the other side. Right when? Right now. And what about payment? What you did to Rice, that's more than enough payment for us. Go to the collapsed tunnel that led to Old Town. Knock at the door that leads to the sewers. Someone will take good care of you. Will do. Thanks. All right, nah, cool. Man. Thank you. What's up, ghost? All right, let's make it back to the tower. Oh, uh, I'll be starting at the usual. T I'll be starting at the same time tomorrow, but I'll be playing, uh, doing my Sunday spotlight for a different game. So Saturdays I'll be playing Dying Light till I finish. Every other Sunday I play something for. I, I play a different game usually for an hour, an hour and a half, just to kind of show it off. Tomorrow night I'll be playing Rogue Warden, which is kind of an interesting little combination of. Adventure role playing, but like from a not quite text interface, but very text heavy. You're making a series of decisions, but there's a lot of and, and, you know there's like a user interface, but there's a lot of text and a lot of reading and such. But I, I like the atmosphere and the setting it conveys, and I'm, I, I want to see. I kind of want to see where it goes, but yeah, I want to show it off. Uh, let's get to the tower. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, Branch. But yeah, Saturdays are for my play this game to completion. Sundays are for just showing off random stuff that interested me. Or other recommendations people have made. Alright. Thanks. Great job. There we, we go. Use of this. Yeah, it's kind of funny that even though we didn't technically complete the quarantine zone, we do keep the packages we did pick up, and you can turn them in. So those po those points still count. So like I said, it's not a total waste of time if we don't check off the bounty. Let's spend some points here. Uh, health regen, tic tac, allow you to run a wall or other flat surfaces even after a jump. Hmm. Tackle, elbow strike. I hear them. You know what? Yeah, we're taking a lot of fall damage here. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Thank you for coming. Alright. Uh, shield mastery. Okay, learn how to attack the infected while using camouflage. That actually could really be useful. And grab a few more things here. Alright. Yeah, we will call it there. So yeah, got a fair bit done. A little bit of plot progress. It definitely took more depth than I was expecting, but what can I say? I take a, I do that a lot when I'm at the top of my game, and I had to get back into the swing of things. But it's good to be back. Good to see you all. Thank you all for coming. As mentioned, tomorrow night, be playing Road Warden. Back to Dying Light next Saturday. So, thanks everyone for coming. 
Welcome to all the new followers, and have a good night. See you next time.